may go away. Especially when we're headed to the beach, we never say the word. So, we've got a sister to Section 8. We have a brother-in-law who's a registered level 3 sex offender. You really got some family going on. My God. Yeah, that, that's really good. Real classy. Fits right in the picture. Shut the fuck up! Bad episode Stop of Cops. It. I tell you, that's what Mike is going to say. Oh my God, it's just like on Cops. It's like, like when I, I visit the... Huh? Like I knew. Like any of us knew. Oh, you know what? If you think about it, in the back of your mind, there was always something. No, actually there wasn't. Subliminal clues that criminals my give off. My sister Mary, though, said that she always felt... Something. Yeah. I never did though. Hiding something. Maybe she felt it because she had a, a kid. You know, maybe. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, real nice. Ten years in the family. Don't you do any background checks? Well, who would your sisters are not anyway? Why would we do background checks? We just trust people. <laughs> you don't trust anybody. Any idea. What? You don't think we did background checks on you? I know every sin you've committed. You're right. The ones in the records and the ones out of it. Like what? Well, they were all on video anyway. You, you didn't hold any back. Well, you did a couple, but... I'm like, what? <laughs> we'll just wait for it to come out naturally. Okay. Yeah, real good. Oh. oh, hold on a sec. What the fuck are you doing? You said you had to go pee, so this is... Stop that! <laughs> Think of a waterfall. No! Think of a dripping no, faucet. No, 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 be like the <laughs> well, i got to tell you something right now. You piss the old man's seat, <laughs> and... It's going to be more than just words and he gets out of here. <laughs> and you will be driving his vehicle home. <laughs> and paying to have it totally replaced. The seat replaced. One of our customers that happened. She why was stuck the, in traffic. Why does the bathroom have to be so far away? It's right inside the doors. And upstairs. Yeah. <sighs> One of our customers, <laughs> she was. he had a nice Volvo. And she's stuck in traffic in the middle of a snowstorm. Mm -hmm. With the kids in the car, she couldn't get out. She, she couldn't hold any more piston seat, and they couldn't get that smell out of the leather. It really stank. They had to replace the whole damn seat and the carpet under it. Was she an animal? She couldn't help it. it was, what was she going to do? It was a raging snowstorm outside, stuck in traffic. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Finally couldn't hold it anymore. Get out and go somewhere. Okay, go ahead. Go Follow somewhere. your own advice. There's woods right over there. There's the woods. I don't need the woods. I got a bathroom up there. Well, go use it. Come with me. Hell no. <laughs> I'm not a toilet monitor. Should have gone before you went left. Like they don't have a bathroom. At least for regular Where? People. Where we just ate. I said your house. I did go before I went there. Well, you see, when you drink your breakfast and your lunch. No, it was the this Snapple, is the, I think. Oh, yeah, the, the, the Snapple. Oh, three whole snapple. minutes went right through you. Well, because I had a soda before that, Drip, too. drip, drip, drip. Shut <laughs> up! <laughs> Dumbass. Oh, relief. Ah! I feel like a razor is hurt. Well, go ahead and take care of the problem. Mm. And you better hurry, too, because there's, there's an accident. One, it's going to be caught on camera. <laughs> and then the reaction for the old man is going to be caught on camera. Mm. You want to talk about a viral video, that'll probably be it. Right, fine, i got to go. <laughs> Stop. I never usually have to pee. Like right now. <laughs> Thank you for the information. Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let's go over what the idiot told us today. Let's see, we have. The sister's on Section 8. The sister's an animal hoarder. And is on welfare. Other than Section 8. I guess that's the same thing. The sister's fucked up. This from Terry. And the sister's fucked up boyfriend just got busted for failing to register his sex offender status when he moved. When he, where he wasn't supposed to be living in with the sister. If that makes any sense. I think that's about it. Except now he's going to prison. Because he failed to register. And the crime was uh, the two two little girls he diddled. And oh, yes, this is also the uh, the Vietnam vet looking guy, that's, that's Scott's description, who drove up, who Scott drove up to the other sister's house about six months ago. 
So that's who Scott's chauffeuring around for Terry. It's registered sex offenders. It is like a bad episode of Cops. Oh, I gotta get the keys. So. Oh. Uh, where the fuck are the keys? There we go. Oh yes, we gotta bring up the whole, I'm in mourning for my cat for a full year so I couldn't look for a job thing. Mike's really gonna love that. As soon as she gets out here, if there's time, I'll bring that up. Here she comes. So much better. Anything else you want to share? No. That's it. Okay, now let's get into the period of mourning thing. What? A whole year you were unable to acquire and maintain work because you were in mourning for the death of your cat. That's right. Really? Yeah. Okay, I just wanted to get that on camera really? because otherwise Mike probably wouldn't believe me. Although by now I think when it comes to you, you'll believe anything. Whole year you couldn't find work because your cat. So what you're telling me is tomorrow you're going to be employed I was now. emotionally destroyed. You're always emotionally fucked up. What the, the difference is that? You're fucked up in general. So I am not. Emotionally destroyed. The cat died. You didn't lose uh, uh, you Billy. You don't understand. It's like my child. She was like my child. And you got some nerve. You know it? What? Call your sister fucked up. Shut up. You know? That's the pot calling the kettle black right there. Good example. Yeah, nice. Mm. Good example. Shut up. She's an animal hoarder. You can't work for a whole year because you lost a cat. Who was like my child. So what was your excuse before the whole year? I worked before that. On and off. Well, yeah. Little stretches here and there. I still did. Fired though. from 100 jobs. You yes, had like 100 cats? No. But I always still worked. It wasn't until this that, you know. With long stretches of unemployment between. No. I never uh -huh. had long stretches of unemployment anywhere. I even work two jobs lots of times. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, you had to because there's always got to be a spare job just in case you lose one, which is, of course, you always know is going to happen. Yep, and it's all because you lost your cat. That's right. Powder. Powder? I call the cat Powder. Why? Think about it. Stop. Why would I call the cat Powder? I took her out of the thing yesterday. And did what? I sat on the couch with her. You put the cat's ashes on the couch? In the thing. In the... Like a tin. That is fucked up on too many levels Why? to count. <laughs> One, you're keeping the cat's ashes in your desk drawer. And? Which is why I call it powder, by the way. Yeah, and? And now you're playing with the ashes. I wasn't playing with the ashes. I just had her... They're in your purse, there. aren't they? No. I just had her little tin sitting out there with me. Billy actually takes the ashes out. I'm not that... Actually, good. he probably adds ashes to it. What? When he smokes. Shut up. Tap, tap. He loved Shadow. I know what I laugh like hell? What? If those ashes really come from charcoal briquettes and not the cat. <laughs> That's not funny. No, but it is a scam they pull all the time. Stop it! They dig a big pit somewhere to dump all the bodies in there and they just give you some ashes no, out of the barbecue because, pit. No, because you have to even say whether you want like a, a whole thing of cremation, like where they put all the animals together, or if you want a, a separate one. We always put separate. And guess what they give you? Stop! <laughs> Guarantee you. Why would anybody want other cats? Because it's cheaper. Mixed in? But that's disgusting. It's not your cat. 
Well, that's what they do because it's cheaper. They ask you if you want it, but they're going to give you the same shit Stop! anyway. Stop! Oh, yeah, hell yeah. They do it to people's ashes sometimes. Stop! Never mind animals where there's no regulation at all. It really isn't. They can do whatever they want with the oh, animal ashes. you know what? They're going to make um, animal cruelty a felony. Really? So you're going to prison then? No. For keeping your cat in a desk drawer all these years? It's not. <laughs> it's a dead cat. Stop it. I actually thought animal cruelty was a felony. No. Huh. Because they always treated it like it was property. Like the animal's property. Now they're going to over it to a felony. Oh, no. They still look at that. It's flying it's like over in there for a second. He was very happy when I read that. There's too many people abuse animals. Why do they abuse animals for? You're right. They should abuse you instead. No, they should abuse people instead. That's what I just said. At least they can defend themselves, but animals can't. Well, you couldn't. Whatever, but still. You sit there going, oh boy, the school, the school bullies was at a field day with you. And they didn't. It's hot in here. Oh, well, I, I didn't do it. <laughs> what did you do? I didn't do anything. I just went like that. Idiot. I didn't do it. You gonna leave that on? Yeah, I'll leave it on. I don't know why the damn thing went off. I don't know. She did something in there.